good morning guys uh, myself venkat if anyone is miss this is the second uh, this is the second day of the training if anyone is missed yesterday session if still you want to uh, go through the session you can ping me over telegram or whatsapp or you can call me or whatsapp to this number these are my two numbers this number is only for my whatsapp on telegram this number whatsapp on call i am available on call also so you can reach out to me if you miss and still if you want to go through the session of yesterday then i uh, i will send you the recorded session i mean uh, google drive link so that you can go through it okay thank you yeah next uh, to continue the yesterday session so we discussed what is data and information right like before going to that let us like uh, what is the uh, what is the importance of dbms and uh, why we need to like uh, learn this dbms how it would be in our real time these all the things a little bit yesterday we discussed let us continue the session for the today let us take for example what is the key role of dbms for example i think everyone have the uh, sba account that is a general like basic from long back every in home everyone is having the sba account let us take as a sbas or application now just i am connecting with the my sba client i am logging to the my sba net banking net banking so here this is client application this is called client application of the sba guys if anyone is not speaking please please go on mute ganesh mera please go on mute yeah see now i just wanted to log into the my db my sbi online banking so i am just giving my details i am just giving my details something so i gave here see now it is checking the see invalid username and password so this is the client application client application for the online sbi so you want to know first what is what is the client what is the client uh, you need to know the client and server architecture let us go to it this is the client and server architecture client is client is nothing but a end user end user so for every application so there will be a client which is developed by the developed by using the front end technologies so here client is nothing but a end user for online sba online sba this is the client so this client developed by using the front end technologies what are the front end technologies java dotnet php erp and so on multiple front end technologies available in the market okay so if you take if you take online uh, sba is your project and your application so we the java people java technology people or uh, developed one client application called online sba net banking so why they are providing they, they used to provide the features online net banking to the users who ever is having access the all uh, sba and sorry guys so if your project is sb project so what do you need what do you need you need one client application which which we are developing by using the front end technologies like java technologies guys to interact with the sb customers to provide the features with the sb customers so the sb 
decided to provide the services is called as net banking so we developed this client application to provide the feature net banking without they come to the branch they can they can do the uh, like a transaction everything by using this net banking so once the you enter the details here once you enter the details here so it is going see for example if if account is open so you have to save the details of the account right that uh, user details so where you will store you, you have to you must be stored in the database for your feature reference so once you enter the user is enter the details here so it has to go and check in the database database for the validation whether the the respective user is and password is belongs to the sbi or not if it is wrong then it has to populate the error here so now so client you know right client is nothing but a end user we can develop the client applications by using the front end technologies okay. now the user details where we are storing we are storing in the database the server, that is called as a server server is nothing but a nothing but a back end back end the back end technologies we do have in the market oracle db2 cybage postgresql and uh, ms sql there are multiple uh, back end technologies available so when when user is entered when user is entered the details so this application in client application it has to pass the it has to go and check in the database back end whether the username and password is available in the database or not so is there any connection between the between the client application and database no we have to make the connection between them because the whatever details user enter the year whatever details user enter here this details has to pass into the database i mean server then it has to check then it has to check whether the respective user is available or not to pass this information we must need one communication channel one communication channel the communication channel is nothing but here that is connection between the client and client and server client and server so what is client client is a end user end user server server what is server server is a back end what is that it is a software it is a software it is used to create modify remove store remove store the data the store store and remove the data okay so what this server server will do it will store data systematically systematically so there are multiple servers that is back ends are available in tech, in market right oracle and db2 so here we are going to discuss about the oracle okay so when user enter the details in client application he has to pass the request to the database to fetch the user details for example if if user is enter the details then what has to what has to when it has to go and pick the database then based on the details of the user then it has to log into the net banking where user can do the transaction whether he can, he can check the, the balance details he can transfer the amount everything everything so to pass that information we must need on communication channel communication channel communicate what is communication channel here it is a bridge between client and server client and server client and server client is what is that end user why i am calling as client as end user who is interacting with the client application users who's those users who ever is having the sbi account along with the net banking access those all are users for the sbi application those all are the users for the apply uh, uh, sbi application that is the reason we are calling as end users client is nothing but end user okay communication channel there are two communication channels available in the market 
one is jdbc and there one is the odbc odbc so now you need to know in real time which one you have to use it okay if client application the client application is line sb client application has developed using java then you have to use the jdbc connection what is jdbc java database connectivity jdbc is a data java database connectivity here odbc is open database connectivity so if client application has developed its online sb this client application has developed so here why i am specifically telling that client in real time we used to call it as just application any application for any sba or some s bank or healthcare anything we used to call it as application in real time here client is interacting with the, uh, this application that is the reason we are telling client in the application okay if client application has developed by using java then you must use the jdbc as a connection connection communication channel to pass the information to the server i mean database how it will pass it will pass through it will pass through communication channel to the server if client application has developed other than java technologies like dot net php erp and so on other than technologies java python like that other than technologies then you must use the odbc connection what is odbc here open database connectivity so here three three two things you have to remember if client application is developed by using java then you must use the jdbc connection other than java technologies if developed then you have to use the odbc connection now you did you understood guys like what is client what is communication channel what is server yes even yes, we is having any doubts no no sir this is the client and uh, it has to pass the information to fetch the user details to the server server is nothing but a back end back end what is that that is a software that is used to provide the features of the uh, for any user sorta uh, any application to store their user information or any information to the database and whenever they need they can man connect with the database they can manipulate it so how it will store it will in some systematic manner like some set of rules will be there right for any application or any database like that it will follow the same okay anyhow we can have some like in last 5 minutes i can help you take uh, 10 to 15 minutes qa we can discuss if you have any doubts there okay now you know that what's the importance of the back end i mean database database so if if client if sba has not store the database how they can provide uh, online uh, net banking to the users no they can't provide so it will be difficult right so again it will be a manual for to the bank so next uh, here we are going to discuss about the oracle uh, in in market around uh, 80 to 90 percent companies is using the oracle as a back end technology uh, now cloud there are some cl clouds is coming so some of the applications is moving to the cloud uh like uh, if if you get any like um, new projects so they are moving to the cloud area cloud area so previously whatever developed the project still it is using the oracle so oracle is a database so like uh, it will be a, like uh, it it suppose the uh, it is a relational database management system so to moving to the oracle you must know some the basic level part basic level part think uh, what is data what is information we discuss let me repeat within 2 to 3 minutes if anyone join newly what is data what is data guys can i get any answer from anyone what is data they are the raw facts which are understood by the uh, system 
Yes, very good. What is information? Which can be understood by a uh, human being. Yeah, humans. Any, see, data. Data is nothing but anything which is understandable by the system or else collection of raw facts. Collection of raw facts. Okay? Information. So why I am telling the system understandable means here can user can understand this? No. What is this? One, two, one, one, two, three indicates. What is this? Names indicates. What is this? 15, 18, 17, 22 indicates. What is this? It is indicates. But system can understand. So is there any proper meaning of the data here? No. No. So that is the reason anything which is understandable by the system is called as a data. The collection of events needs to be stored in a single object is called also data. Okay. Next information. Anything which is understandable by the human or any the meaningful data is called as a information. Why I am calling as a meaningful data when you add student ID, student name, age and location, then this data get the meaning now. When you add, then only it's big, uh, then only here meaning has came to the data. So why I am calling as human understandable when you add SID, now you can you can get to know that these are the student names. You, when I use the yes name, now you will get to know that these are the student names. When I add age, then now you will get to know that this is the age. Okay. Now you know that this is the data and this is metadata. Metadata is, it's metadata is data about the data. It's a describe the user data. So metadata plus data is equal to information. Okay. Okay, clear guys. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Next step. So Okay, data. It is collection of event used to be stored as a single object or else collection of graphics. So what is events here? Events is, what is events here? Events is add, modify and remove. So anything which you add or insert the data into the database, that is called one event. Anything which is modifying with the existing data, that is called modify. Anything which you are removing the data from the database, that is called an event. So any transaction which is you which is user is performing on the database, that is called one event. Any transaction that is called one event. Okay. There are two types of here data. What we said any collection of events needs to be stored in a single object. What is the object? There are multiple objects are available in the market. Sir, we cannot hear you. Yes, sir, one second. Yeah, sorry, guys. Uh, some network. Uh, I got call from some board and call. Okay. So here, in it, in it, collection of events needs to be a single object, right? So what is the objects, guys? There are multiple objects available in the market. Sorry, in database, we have some the objects is called as objects. Let me show you. Um, So here object. So there are multiple objects we have in our SQL, like a table, view, synonym, sequence. These all are called as a objects. So there are two types of objects in our Oracle database. 
I mean SQL. One is user object, another one is the system object. System object. What is user object? It's created by the user and manipulated by the users and contains the user data. So any object, if you created, you, who is the user for the database? Any, any can, can someone, uh, can I get any answers from anyone? Who is the users for the database? So like when you are showing SBI, SBI bank holders are the users, sir. Yeah, that is, that is, is the, the SBI yeah. account holders are users for the, they SBI. But the database, who is the users for the database? Developers is, and uh, administrators. Yes. Whoever is having access to the database, those all are called as a users for the database. Whoever is having the access to the database, those all are users for the database. Right. How the users, whoever is having the account holders, for the database, those are the users for the SBA. The same way here also. So if user, whoever is having access, the user, the user, if they create any object and inserting the data or manipulating, manipulation in the sense, creation, deletion, uh, updation, insertion, everything is the manipulation. Something which is doing, which is, which is doing with the database that is called as a manipulation. So if any user create any uh, user object means if any, like it's created by the users and manipulated by the users. So if you are entering the data means that is it's contain user data. That means whatever data is entering you that is belongs to you. Because if one user is having one table other, another user cannot access it until unless if existing user provides the privileges to them. So those we can discuss in the schema level. So now what is user object? It's created by the user and manipulated by the users and contains the user data. Contain the user data. Now, let me connect it to the database. Don't think about this, whatever I'm writing, so we can discuss it. These are the tables which is created by here, Venki. Who is the username? Venki. Which is the, these are the tables which is created by the Venki user. Venki user. So these are the objects. Objects belongs to the Venki user. And Venki can manipulate at any time with these objects. And it contains the Venki's, that means that Venki's data because he has created the object and he has inserted the data. He has inserted the data. Okay. It's all called as a user object. Now, system object. System object is nothing but, nothing but system created tables. System created tables. So, what is system created tables? Is those are called as a data dictionaries. So which are already available in the database. So these system objects, so we cannot create. That will be created by the system automatically when you install the database software. So those are called as a 
data dictionaries. Let me show you. Here, select See, there are 108 rows selected. That means this many of the tables are available. Did we create these all tables? No, these all tables. We have created only these five tables, five objects. But here already some inbuilt, inbuilt data dictionaries, the tables are available. That means these are all created by the system when you install the Oracle software. Those are all called as a system objects. System objects. Next, the database. Database is, as I discussed, as I said earlier, collection of interrelated data is called as a database. Collection of interrelated data is called as a database. So before going to know about the database, you need to know there are some set of guidelines like creating the table or creating any objects. In business terminology, how we used to call as a object or entity or table. Everything is the same. For example, if you call in business terminology, object, there are multiple objects, right? So entity, objects, entity, entity, or table, table, synonym, sequence, okay, the objects you have to remember, object or entity, if you call object, if you are table, if you are entity, if you are called as a table, everything is the same in business terminology. Next, attribute, Column, column, both are the same. If you call attribute, if you are column, both are the same. Next, record, tuple, and row. If you call it as a record or if you call it as a tuple, you call it as a row. Everything is the same. So in business terminology, if you call it as any object or entity or table or attribute or column, you should remember that those all are the same. Now, now, so you know the table. What is table? Table, can someone tell me what is the table, guys? Collection of rows and columns. Yeah, collection of rows and columns. Table is a collection of rows and columns. Here, row is, if you call it as a record or tuple, same right. So column, column, two, two. So you need to know what is the column. Not having any column, any column. Is it will be valid, valid, valid? If table is not having any column, is it valid? No, because table should have, table should have at least, table should have at least one column, at least one column in one row. At least one column, one column in one row. Then only it will become the right so what is attribute it is something described or qualify an entity an entity entity or a table table now 
each attributes there are table of multiple attributes right here select or from cmp here here this all are the columns attributes these all are the rows rows so we discuss in the table part what are the mandatory things for the table now we discuss about this attributes and rows so here attribute is attribute is nothing but or column is nothing but it is qualify or describe an entity each column or each attribute may or may not be may not be mandatory so but one column is or one attribute is mandatory because the table should have at least one column or one row then only it will become the table okay next row row what is row it's representing data for particular instant or entity so here what is 7369 is representing here emp number so every table may not have rows table can create table can create without the data as well without the data as well so every table may or may not have data or rows so by using this user object we, we can store the data and display the information so here this is called on information right this is called on information so if i if i show you like this so same query i am executing this is the data but we cannot understand it because there is no columns for this so when you see like this same query i am running you can see same query, select star from emb but here there is no columns so he, but system is understanding that it is a imp table having the employees details but human cannot understand this here there is no calls columns what is this 7364 indicates and all so what is that meaning by using user object this is the user object right which we created we can store the we can store the data and displaying the information see information is along with the column names right we can store the data we can display the information by using this user object okay any doubts guys no sir thank you now let's moving to the uh, this record everything is done right yeah metadata you know right the system, um the system object system object we discussed like it's a created and manipulated by the system it contains the metadata what is metadata metadata is data about the or data of the data okay metadata describe the user data here metadata this emp number in name it is describing the user data why we are calling as user data it is it, it is entered by the or insertion by the user user that is that is the reason we are calling as user data user data there are some set of properties for the metadata there are some set of properties for the metadata properties of you no know, properties of these all are very basic if you already knows just uh, you can uh, like brush up your knowledge properties of metadata one is data one is data name another one is definition definition another one is length of size
फोर्थ वन इज वैल्यूज फ्लूट फिफ्थ वन इज सोर्स ऑफ डेटा सिक्स्थ वन इज ओनरशिप Here, what is this? All are the called as metadata. So, what is system object? It's can it is created by the user and can uh, manipulate. Sorry, it's created by the system and it contains the metadata. So, why we are calling here contains the metadata when you use when you use data dictionary when you use data dictionary. Not table underscore user underscore tables. When you use data dictionary here, description of user underscore tables. See, it is having the table name and the table name or the table of space name, cluster name, I O T name, status. This all called as the so here what is data dictionary that is user details it is having the metadata details so data name is nothing but a table name data is not data data name is a nothing but a table name nothing but a table name definition that is called any table like EMP student and course next definition. what is definition definition it contains the it contains the column name and data type column name and data type data type here if you see if you see, don't think about this quiz you can discuss everything so while explaining i just wanted to show you for every single line what i am trying to say here so these all are the columns while you are declaring the columns while you are creating the table you need to provide the data type what type of data that column has to accept so here emp number emp number is a number data type i have declared it that means this emp number when you are inserting the data this column emp number column allows only number number data number data we can discuss everything clearly what is the data types what and all data types we do have in further sessions okay so here definition is column name and data type next length of size is nothing but a data type size how much size how much size of the column it has to do here if you see number of number of four number of four that means this emp number column allows only number data type with the maximum size of four bytes if you are inserting the data if you are inserting the data if you are inserting the data it will go error If you are inserting the data, maximum four bytes. Maximum four bytes. So you. Maximum four bytes. See if you see this error insert into EMP number. I am inserting as five bytes. E R C one, two, three, four, five bytes. So what is it? It is throwing error. Value larger than specified prescription allowed the column. So whatever the column you are inserting the data that is larger, larger than specified the column. Here you specified as four bytes, but you are inserting as five bytes. So what is the length of size? Length of size is a nothing but a database size, data type size. Values allowed. Values allowed. Sir, can we alter that from four to five? 
Hello. Yes, yes, we can do it. The, 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 these all, these all are very basics. To, so, if I say directly, length of size is a database size. You may can't understand. That's the reason I am showing the error. What will happen? So, where we discuss how to extend, alter this, extend the data type by using alter command. We discuss in the, we discuss in. Data uh, we discuss in alter command. We discuss in okay. where it we will get the like a DDL commands here. DDL commands create order drop truncate. Here we can discuss everything in alter perspective, create perspective, everything. You no need to worry. Okay. Okay. Sir. Next values allowed. It contains a restriction. So what type of data it has to load into the column restrictions? What type of data is flowing? Uh, what type of data has to allow in the column? Column. If you take here, here, so four bytes only I'm giving. That is called think. See. Invalid number. Why it is showing invalid number is EMP number column declared as number data type, but number data type. But we are inserting the string data type. But our Oracle compiler is expecting that number data type. That's the reason it's thrown the error as invalid number. That is that is called as Values allowed. It means it contains the restrictions. What are the restrictions are there? It has to be, it has to be within four bytes. Four are within four bytes, and we have to insert the number data type only. Okay. Here, this is the main part. We have to know. It contains the source of data. It contains the database file details database file details when you are creating when you are creating one table that that has to store in the database right how it will store how it will store guys can someone tell me if anyone knows can i have any any answers the, any object, if you create, how it will store into the database, in hard disk. Our database is nothing but a hard disk, right? You are saving the data. In blocks. Blocks. Directly it will store in the blocks. Uh, thank you. It's found bytes only. Sorry? It's found bytes. In the form of bytes but how it will store like uh, uh, is there it, the table directly will go and store in this particular area or uh, how it would be by giving online database connection so okay let me explain okay that is right but uh, whatever you are telling that is right only but before going to that there will be some something which you need to know see the table the table the table this is the table okay this is the table you are having like uh, this is the table this is the table okay next uh, the table, when you are inserting or creating the table, when you are inserting the data, the data is the form of the table only, right? So when you are inserting the data, where it will get stored, it will get stored into the DBF file. DBF file. That is called database file. Where it will be stored, DB file. 
DVF file. So what is the source of uh, source of data here? What is the source of data here? What is the data source of the data here, guys? The source of data is here is the DBF file. That is only source right where it will get stored. That is the source right. Table where it will get stored. That is our source. So here, here source of the data is DBF file. Next, DBF file, DBF file, DBF file. So table will get stored into the DBF file. DBF file will get stored into the database. So anyone have seen CD, DVDs? Anywhere, let me show you the first. Um, See, so we will see, we will get the hard disk like this. Inside hard disk, it will be like this. Inside hard disk, it will be like this. In the form of, it will be like as a DVD or CD. See, like this. Like this. So, if, we, if I think in college days or school, Place, I think everyone have seen that. Seen that. Where is that? Seen that. If you store the data in your DVD, till for example, till here this is the this is the DVD, but you have stored only one, two, three, three sector, sectors. So you will get one different color, right? In DVD. Have you seen anyone? DVD, where till still, uh, till where get, where the data gets stored. For that, it will be a different color. After that, it will be different color. Anyone has observed? Yes. yes. See, here one, two, three, four, five sectors is there. But my data is filled uh, till three sex stars only. For till three sex stars, it will be a different color. That will indicate that data is stored till here. After four and five, six sex stars, so the five sectors, remaining two sectors will be a different colors. So when you when you when you create any table, it will get stored into the DBF file that DBF file will get stored into the database in the form of uh, sectors within the sectors in block. See, this is called one block. Control G, one second. This is called one block, right? This is called one block. This is called one block. Here, this is called one block, whatever. So, how it will store into the data, guys? In the form of table, table will get stored into the DBF file. Table will get stored into the DBF file. The DBF file will get stored into the, finally, in the database, in the form of sectors, within the sector, one block. ERC one. 
Control B. See, here, this is called one block. 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 Sorry, this is. So this is called one block. So the table will get stored into the DBF file. DBF file will get stored into the hard disk in, the, in blocks. Okay, that is source of data. Next ownership. Next ownership. Ownership is nothing but ownership is nothing but a user who has created the table. It is not it contains the it contains the user de, user details. Contains the user details of the table. User details of the table who has created of the table okay example let me show you mine it will show select user comma table under owner 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 details owner comma table underscore name some all underscore tables See, EMP table, Vinky, DPT table, Vinky. These five tables having my my user, right? I created five my, in my schema. So those will, it will show as a, it will show as a Vinky as the owner. So any doubts on metadata? Any doubts on yes, metadata, guys? Metadata properties. You no. no need to remember this all the things to understand the subject from scratch. How, uh, what is the database? How the data will get stored? What and all parameters you need to have for the table? So you need to know this all the things for some people who knows the computer's background and who knows the already some like the background of the uh, side, they know from people, some people who, who like uh, coming from the non-technical, they have to know, right? That's the reason I'm explaining from the scratch. Now, let's move into the database. Let's move into the database. Database is a collection of interrelated, interrelated data, right? Database. Connection of interrelated database. So the database here, database management system. What is ours is RDBMS, relational database management system. Relation in the sense, whatever the data which you are inserting, which you, which you are inserting in the database, that would be a relation, relational data. Like one table can have one to one relation, another table can have many to many relation uh, like that. So the, there will be interconnection between the data. So that is called RDBMS. Here, here, just to split the, just to split the DBMS as two ways. One is DB, another one as, one is DB, another one as management system. DB, what is database? Database is a collection of uh, database is collection of interrelated data. Collection of interrelated data. What is management system? Management system has 
set of programs to manipulate those data what is those data whatever the data which is inserted or available in the data to manipulate we need some set of programs what is that set of programs now we have discussed it. we have discussed about the state bank so when you enter the details when you enter the details so those details those details they has to pass from through client to to database server by using the communication channel so when you enter like this when you enter like this it has to go and check right in the database it has to go and in the database whether the whether the entered details of the username and password is correct or not if not then it has to it has to throw one error it has to throw an error saying that the username and password is incorrect the username and the password is incorrect so that means the data whatever the client is entering in client application that has to be validate to validate that information we need to write some programs here invalid credential as or otp you are left with one more attempt so the maximum attempts are three attempts that is also you have to write one program to indicate that one attempt is completed another attempt is completed by using the username so if it is correct whatever data you are entering so here one program required right the same way if you enter correct the details correct then what it has to go it has to go for the two factor authentication enter see one time password so how it has given one time password initially it is showing username is invalid so if it is if entering the client details whatever the user details if correct then it has to go and it has to it has to check for the one time password once the user one time password will be submit here once he received the password the password also generation should be required the number so once it user reached that password he has to enter if he enter if he enter if it is wrong it is wrong again it has to throw an error see the entered invalid password if it is correct then it has to go inside so these many validations you require these many rules you require to set up what are the rules if you take one atm if you go and put your id uh, your atm your atm card then it has to populate your name your name after your, uh, your name how it would be populate based on your last four digits of card then the database it has to check then it has to provide the name so what we used to do we used to write a program in procedure or something else in our plspl once you enter the your pin number if it is correct or not it has to throw error so pin number equal to pin number we will put if it is pin number is wrong then it has to throw one message right pin pin is wrong, pin number is wrong please enter again that also you have to put if it is correct then it has to go into the next like uh, saving bank current banking balance check these all the things if you enter balance the balance amount should not be less less than the balance amount available in the account for example if your account is having 5000 but you are trying to take money 10000 so when you enter 10000 it has to throw an error like insufficient balance for that also you have to write the program if it is if it is right then you have to it has to go and uh, it has to give the amount the the transaction details should be stored into the another table the table is transaction table with the time stamp 
in where in which atm and atm atm details user details and along with the time stamp date and time he has taken this much money and after that again it has to update the amount which you have taken the amount should be detected in the available balance and it has to update it in the account that is also you have to enter the, that is also you have to write so these many things will be processed available uh, background will be running behind that whatever you are taking many many step by steps you need to follow for write a program so these all validations and rules you need to set up by using the set up programs that is that is set up programs to manipulate the those data what we are manipulating here the amount as taking amount should be uh, amount should be reflected in the reflected in the uh, in account available balance the manipulation is user is taking the amount amount should be uh, updated in the account so that is called dbms dbms is data this is collection of system collection of interrelated data and set up programs so here see dbms is database plus set up programs clear guys any any doubts yes. no sir anyone is having any questions guys okay fine thank you next database management system stores the data in such a way that it becomes easier to retrieve and manipulate and produce information produce information so how it will store it is user easy to user who is use interacting with the database they can easily retrieve manipulate and produce the information produce the information to the user whatever the whatever he is requesting so i have entered select star from emp that information is producing to me whatever the information is available in the table okay the data manipulation consist consist various operations like store data modify data remove data retrieve data so manipulation in the sense store the data modify data remove data and retrieve it. so first you will it will the data manipulate the dbms provide the features for you right like it will allow to you store and modifying and removing whenever you need and retrieving whenever you need okay so it's provide the security and uh, safety against the system crashes data dbms security in the sense you, you are having one table in your for example every user every user is a individual individual schema created in the database they are the individual for separate like i have created one table if you want to access you can't able to access because the table is belongs to me until unless i gave permissions to you if i gave permissions to you then you can access it like i can restrict the permissions as well like viewing the permission or updating the uh, table or deleting something so some people will provide only viewing the permission that means you can only read the data you can't manipulate the data so that is providing the security again it's the system crashes if system is crashed then your data should not be should not be removed and it will be provide it will be provide the backup okay this software this dbm software that is used to create maintain and provide control access to the user databases user databases means what all the users is available for the database so i said right like some systematic method it will follow here systematic method to follow to storing the data what are those one is creating the database storing the database updating the database re receiving the database and remove the data from the database 
So creating the database means you can able to create a table. You can able to insert the data into a table. You can able to update the data into a table. You can able to retrieve the data from the table. You can able to remove the data from the table. Do you want me show these things in practically or uh, we can continue? Yeah, we will discuss in other sessions. Like we need to create the tables, we need to insert the data, we need to update, retrieve, remove everything. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, any doubts, guys, about the DBMS? No, no. Do you have any no, doubts? Sir. No, sir. Yeah, thank you. Thank you sir, so thank much. You, so now you know that DBMS knows, you know the data, you know the uh, set of rules, and uh, you know the features of DBMS, everything. Now, how much the time, guys? 9.15. Okay, let me show you this 15 minutes then. Then uh, we can start next topic on the um, next question. So how it's create that, create the data. Like I said, right? Database, creating the database. How we will create it? Just to create. Don't think about the syntaxes. Create table. Table name as one. I am declaring column as just as ten is a column and we are care to or else number is a column and number data type that I have given as five. A table is a created. Now you can see description of T1. See, so T1 table is having the number NY is a one column, and the column data type is number data type. It allows maximum size is five bytes. So, can we create the database? Yes, we can create it. Next, update uh, storing the database. Like now, insert into T1 values in this thing. See, now select, select me one thing. Select star from given. So we have created, see, I just have rolled back this one, leave it. We have created table. So what I said, guys, we table can be created without data as well. So do we have any data? No. So now we can insert the data. Again, select star from, select star from one. See now table is having one row. So now I say try it, set heading on. Headings are not coming. Now you can see number column, and it is the row. Uh, can you store the data? We are creating the database. Can you store the data? Can you store the data, guys? Yes. So here we created the table. So we can store the data. So here it will provide the feature is systematic method is it will allow to you create, it will allow to you store. Next update. So we can. I am. I have to uh, write some queries. So don't think about this. So we can discuss everything. No worries on that.
ಈ ಒನ್ ರೋ ಅಪ್ಡೇಟೆಡ್ ನಾವು ಲೆಟ್ ಸಿ ದ ಡೇಟ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಅಪ್ಡೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ಡೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿ ಅಪ್ಡೇಟ್ ದ ಡೇಟಾ ಹರಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಗೈಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಸ್ so we can update retrieving in the sense whatever there is only one command retrieve the data that is select we are re receiving the data from the database where it is stored in the database only right so we are retrieving the read or retrieving both are same data from the database so we can able to retrieve so we now you want to remove the data from the table here see retrieving also done so removing just uh, we can truncate this now see again whether the data is there or not see no row select again that means i have deleted the data from the remove the data from the table so we can remove the data we can remove the data we can creating we can store everything it will provide okay so tomorrow we just to discuss about the uh, importance of the like uh, why um, like advantages of the dbms and uh, why they have introduced we will discuss this and we can go directly to the um, like uh, data, uh, data types so now you know the column the column and rows and the data types importance everything so we can go directly to the data types what and all data types we have data types in oracle sql after database we can discuss about the uh, types of sql statements or languages so everything whatever you are doing with the database in sql all belongs to this all five commands five sub languages without this we cannot write a single statement here statement is nothing but statement is nothing but this one whatever you are writing here of uh, to read the data or updating the data to remove the data these all are the statements so we can't write without these five sub languages or five sub languages or five five statements without this we can't write a single statement in our oracle okay tomorrow we can discuss about the uh, we can start the database data types it will take around 2 to 3 class then we can start the this uh, types of sql statements so i am happy to receive this now even is having any quiz can you please tell me so can you please share the software for sql developer so i can share you guys after uh, one week if uh, anyone wants to enroll it uh, after you see you can decide after one week uh, based on my knowledge whatever i am explaining uh, if you are if you wish to continue if you like it then you can continue of the enroll by the time i can show you i can share you the all recording sessions and the software everything will be provided how to install the software as well okay okay sir thank you sir thank you thank you so anyone is having any queries guys i am ready to answer so, yeah i am basker ready yeah hi boss sir we are we are working on tableau uh, uh yeah uh, is this is this related to tableau right see yes sql is a yeah yes sql is a very very mandatory language for all languages if you are a java technology working you should learn sql basics also if you are working on it data science related for any project tableau power bi r language 
and python and uh, quick view talent everything you must learn the sql because without knowing this uh, sql because you people re connected to the database and retrieving the data from the database without data you can't perform any single dashboard you can't prepare any single dashboard because when you have the data then only you can you can work on the tableau so you need you need to fetch the data from the database right for this yeah, you correct, must correct. require the sql yes this is oracle sql only na yeah see sql oracle sql postgre sql every all sqls are same but okay. in market 80 to 90% of the projects are using the oracle as a database so if you learn this sql it would be the same for postgre sql mysql uh, db2 and um, uh, ms sql all are the same no sql okay. t sql all are the same you can okay. work on any sql part okay how many days this uh, class i think i already discussed it will be a uh, like a sql is a 35 days daily is one and a half hour and um, uh, in weekends in in a week seven days you will get one day holiday then in weekends there will be a some longer session so you you can contact me of uh, so that we can discuss the further any any questions on the uh, class related you can ask me okay you can discuss those okay. that one in offline okay thank you anyone is having any questions guys no sir thank you others anyone is having any questions and suggestions like some people may uh, not understand the way of uh, explanation if you uh, want you can if you have any suggestions you can provide me i am happy to receive i don't have any any constraints on that yeah hope uh, no one is having any questions if you don't have any questions then we can uh, uh, disconnect the call for today then we'll meet on tomorrow we'll meet on tomorrow okay thank you guys thanks for joining the call we'll meet on tomorrow thank you so thank you bye bye have a nice have a day. day sorry okay thank you guys Bye bye